Right guys, well uh, this is the Hasway stand. I've just had the uh, super duper VIP tour and um, let's, uh, let's talk about Hasbro and um, yeah, let's talk and wander. Guys, this is what we do. We talk, we wander. Um, I'm going to wander and I'm going to talk to you guys and I look like a complete crazy, crazy person. But I don't mind that because, you know, you guys need to know stuff and I'm the guy with the information today, so there you go. Right, um, Hasbro. They had, with the exception of st uh, three Star Wars Mr. Potato Heads and one Star Wars Play-Doh set, they had absolutely no other Star Wars items at all at the London Toy Fair, which, um, now, I, to say I'm shocked is like an understatement, but uh, yeah, completely shocked. The reasoning for this is because of the licensing on the current products that are coming out for The Force Awakens, which, which doesn't, uh, which, oh, there you go, which doesn't, um, mean they couldn't have shown new Rebels products or any other new products such as anything at all. Oh, so I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to rant. Right, um, any Black Series stuff, anything at all, nothing at all, apart from some Play-Doh. I'm um, stopping, this is, look, this is me resting here, look, this is why I'm standing here and looking down into the lower hall. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'm actually quite incredulous. You may have guessed that by now. Olympia is a beautiful building. I'm just trying to calm myself down. And um, yeah, um, yeah. So no black series at all. Nothing from the mission series. Nothing at all. At all. At all. At all. Nothing. Um, yeah, really. <laughs> How many times can I say nothing? Because that's what they had, apart from a Play-Doh set that was actually incomplete. It was still the at the prototype stage. So, um, uh, yeah, so it was at the prototype stage, the, oh, drats, why couldn't they? Yeah, anyway, so very, very disappointing, which I'm sure, is it next week, next month, when it's the massive, massive toy show in Germany? I'm quite sure there'll be loads of stuff released there because for some reason they always swerve the UK market. Um, so Hasbro, if you're listening into that, come on, let us know. Get in touch. Give me a give me a uh, tweet. Follow me on Twitter. I tweet you enough and ask where where's the stuff. So um, how about if you um, get in touch and then we you can you can tell the uh, the great toy buying toy buying um, public why is there such See, an absence um... of your your products in the UK. I know in the US you guys are, you know, you guys, you have a massive range, far larger than ours. Um, but you're having trouble finding stuff as well. But at least you've got stuff to find. We don't even have the stuff to begin with. So yeah, so there you go. That's, um, I'm trying not to rant, but I'm really, really quite knocked. Pause for thought. Yeah, yeah, I'm really quite knocked. Um, massive shame has broke, that's a huge letdown. Once again, feel very let down by Hasbro. Um, Hasbro UK. So, if you're watching this in your um, office, drop me a line, comment, actually say why, why, why we a overlooked, and why do you not release any of the good stuff, and why do you not have anything at the London Toy Fair at all, apart from one prototype. Play-Doh set and three Mr. Potato Heads. There you go, guys. Um, check me out on Twitter. We've all made some updates. Probably not Hasbro <laughs> because there's nothing to update you about, really. And um, until next time, may the force be with you. Bye for now.